Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so, so much for coming back. Today is the long-awaited 2023 planner lineup. I'm so excited. These have been my favourite videos to watch. Like, I love them. I'm obsessed with them year after year. I love filming them. I love doing them. I think I do mine a bit different because I like to set up each planner with you and then show you my overall planning system. Whereas I've noticed a lot of people, they're just showing you empty books and saying what they're gonna use it for. I think it's easier or it's better to like have the things to show you. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, wh what I wanted to do is show you the two shades, two shades of Becky. So on the one side, we have all our pink and gorgeous, girly, amazing, um colors and then on the other side we're dark and we're neutral and we're brown and, and it's just two shades of me i've decided instead of trying to make you know one thing work let's make everything work and in some roundabout way all of this does go together like a dream for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start off with right okay Let's start off with this one. This you've seen a million times in my planner lineup. It is just an A4 Stalogy and all of my planning for planners, like the last couple of years, everything goal planning, planner planning, planning out videos. Like this is the goals video that I did. This is for the upcoming Sterling Inc video. Um, these are uh, goals and planning routines and things like that. So everything goes um, in this. I brain dump in that first before I, it goes anywhere else. So, right, I will show you this one because this is this is in my planner lineup, but it's not a planner. So I set this up um, this year and I bought it this year as well. And I wanted to practice. Um, oh. Oh, this is what I do see. I set a planner up and I put stuff in it and then I forget that the stuff's there. This I want to be like a, what is in here? This I want to be like a collage -y journal type thing. So I have tried to, tried to include like collage -y stuff. Um, I, I see loads of planner people do it and I really like the way that it looks. Also, I am very intrigued in the standard size because obviously you know I use a standard size Stalogy. Well, I'm interested in the standard size um, Traveller's Notebook as well. This is another one that I forgot to bring out that does need an honor, honor, honorary, honor, honorary, 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 how do you say it, honorary? That does need an honorary mention is this is my, um, it's undated Kinbor planner that is in this standard size uh, Prima marketing journal called Sophie. And in this one, I have decorated it. It's all girly. I've done June, July, August, and then I haven't done, I've got the stickers in there to do them, but I haven't done. The one, the thing I love about this is it's undated. So I use this as a memory planner. I want one thing to be consistent where I want to fill the whole book. So I did, I have tabbed them out as well, but I think I finished setting things up, yeah, in September. So, I mean, I can take these off and I have put, kits in where I want kits to go but yeah this is because it's undated I don't have to follow these dates I think I've left it too long now to go and back plan it in but yeah so that is something that when I want to do something fun something different a different layout I'll go in and I'll use it look at all this stuff that I'm collecting from planners right what do we do what do you want us to do what should we do first right so the backbone of my planning goes in this standard um standard stalogy it is an a4 a5 stalogy sorry cut down to standard size and i have done a plan with me 
in this and I absolutely love the standard Stalogy. I'm just going to do a quick flip through of how I've set it up. So I've done like my monthly reset routine in here. Uh, favourite planner shops, that's for an upcoming video. Stickers to buy and then I've got quite a few purchase pages. And then I have drawn in uh, six months worth of YouTube um like trackers, planners, this is where I plan out what I'm going to do and then my planner lineup routine is there. One thing that I did want to do alongside all this is show you, is do a quick flip through of the old ones and kind of explain how I use it. So this it has been the first allergy that I cut down to a standard size. So this was a like a tester if you like of whether I would use it or not and I set this up and started it in September no I'm lying started it in I think it was July yeah we started it in July and basically this has uh, like my monthly uh, YouTube planning in and then I do a cover page and then it has I always do uh, this week and then I do my Monday through Sunday this was a DEK designs kit and then I add on any kind of lists and things that I want to add on this is a projects one some holiday ideas as Brandon brain dump more some holiday ideas and then there is this kit which I believe is um, vanilla paper co and I just do my reoccurring tasks and I list out uh, this is when I was working on a monthly reset and I list out, you know, I list things as and when I do them. So it's blank at the beginning. I get the information of what I need to do from my Hobonichi weeks, which I'll show you. There is quite a bit of space at the bottom of these. That's why I moved from a B6. So this, I mean, there is setups of everything on my channel of this. Um, and lately they have been filling up more because I've been doing more so I have been filling up the pages at the beginning I wasn't but now I am and I just wanted to show you because I did start the year in a B6 so this is the difference between B6 and like an A5, an A5 cut down you can see the difference there and then this is a week's in comparison so the b6 i did like the b6 i don't know whether it's because i got bored of it or or what but they just there seemed to be i tried to do um timed dailies so that when it came to memory planning in my hobonichi cousin i'd have all the information there so i'd have like a to-do list on this side and i'd do a timed daily but then like there was loads of blank spaces everywhere it just it, it, i didn't have enough to fill it this is when i started to do like reoccurring tasks and like a to-do list but timed um and and i've carried on from doing that really but in a standard stalogy apart from i'm not doing it timed but i can go back to doing it timed um it isn't really going to make a difference i love this kit i love this it's a, and i did the size is amazing like the sterling ink planner that i'm using as my memory planner is a b6 i absolutely love the size so i set it up for i was going to go into summer like when did i last i think it's march isn't it yeah so i last used it in march and then i didn't use a, a stalogy for a couple of months and then i started this one in july March, April, May, June. So April, May, June, I didn't use one at all. And then um, I started on the standard Stalogy. So yeah, I really enjoy using this. Um, it's good for writing notes. Um, I did do some, but I'm sketching out ideas and I did do some journaling in the back of here. And um, yeah, I've tried, tested out like layouts and stuff in the back and then yeah the rest is all plans and stuff and I do like it um I am I do want to like I don't know going forward in this one I want to use it the same way I want to 
so I've just tabbed all that up and then my January I'll do a January setup starting here and I do want to use it in the same way but I'm very conscious of my sterling ink planner not working out and if that doesn't work out then I have got ideas of how to use this so this is my standard strategy I absolutely love how I've decorated this uh, the cover on cover is uh, just an A5 one from Amazon cut down when I've done a setup of this video I'll link it at the end um, and or I'll link it down below go and watch it because it has got all the information this is a belt sticker from Suzette stickers and um, loads of people are asking me about that it's just a belt sticker closure thing <laughs> so that is my standard standard um strategy so let's go to this one now this is my hobonichi weeks this is in the motum veg tan honey i absolutely love it i love it it smells amazing it feels amazing i mean i've got gilio i've got um this mac croc black black gilio apunto and like this is um crocs obviously it feels different but the leather itself is like they're just as soft honestly guys they're amazing i love them so this was the current weeks um that i have been using this was the mega and that's why it's got loads of pages in the back but you can see the difference between the sizes they do fluff up they definitely fluff up but uh, this one is set up as a functional like on the go kind of planner uh, again i have done a planner setup of this um i've just done a like collagey dashboard there and then i have some grumpy tortoise scripts that i use a little picture of nico some of my favorite stickers here i've just highlighted holidays school holidays that comes in so that comes in um that's so why can't speak that's comes in handy so much it's so useful i do use it and this is where i'm just going to be tracking things i do a monthly setup and i do forward plan in this so if i have got something that um i need to forward plan i'll put it on a sticky note and just stick it on the date i do keep them uh, in the back i keep sticky notes in the back here so i do use this as a forward plan and then um i've only planned two weeks in this but i tend to do it the same i have date time specific tasks down the left hand side um i'll have a to-do list some trackers maybe and next week i've put meals in there and there's the things i've done on each day this week i changed it up a little bit i put some waiting for on i've done a sleep tracker and a water tracker and that i'm now on my third just finished my third glass of water today i'm really good at water but i just like the way that it looks um same date specific and then i'll come in each day and mark off what i've done and then in the back um i have um just done some annual trackers so a car annual tracker a home annual tracker so when we empty the hot tub clean the oven like so any big like deep cleanings that need to be done i track on there and then i've also got a birthday list and then this is just a plan lineup and then this is a planner setup list and then i will do things like i do want to write down like the kids shoe sizes and stuff like that so i've got them on the go with me uh, cases clothes sizes she's different sizes she's now gone into ladies so and she's different sizes in different shops and like my husband's shoe size and clothes sizes and things i want to put them in here so um that when i am out and about i know if i'm shopping i know you know what uh, i need to buy if i need to do certain to buy things like there's certain things that i like to buy in the range bnm uh, poundland so i'm going to write the name of the shop and then write down the things that um, i like to buy from that shop and then whenever i'm out i can have a quick look at the list and go oh yeah like i'm at poundland i like to get these things because they're cheaper so i plan to do that in here that's what the notes pages are for shopping lists yeah things like that so this is like a functional planner this is where all of my to do's go initially um i did in my previous planner the last like some of the last few weeks i tried to do 
a um, kind of getting things done method uh, which you will have seen a plan with me for and it does work I like it um, so I've numbered the tasks and I've highlighted the important ones and then if they relate to like a project or something um, where, where have I done it it all links back to each other so one clean sofa week 44 number six so i know to go to week number 44 which is under there normally the week numbers like at the top there and then it's uh number six so i just go and it's clean sofa so and then there's the steps that i need to do uh my plan is like i don't want to do that in here because i like to be able to put trackers and make it pretty and things like that and i do like to have to-do lists uh waiting for's next week and all that so i am going to be getting a i think i'm going with the freely noted from planner monkey co i did buy one of someone of a buy sell trade group and it hasn't come i mean she's refunded me and everything but i was gutted because i wanted to get that set up ready uh for this lineup video but it hasn't come so i might end up having to buy one and and see where what happens with that um if any of you in the uk are selling one of the uh, freely noted notebooks i don't need the monthlies just need a notebook any week size tom over paper notebook let me know down below but in that one i'm going to be setting up like a, a getting things done so i'm going to have like someday maybe lists uh, project lists and all that and i will carry that around with me in this one uh, i haven't really got anything in the bottle packet back pocket at the minute um i will put receipts and things in there uh keep the receipts in there until i come home and then sort out my receipts and file them away but yeah this is i really like it i really like the browns like it's really classy and classic isn't it uh to pull out in a shop and just have a look at it's just i love it so yeah that along with a blank week's size notebook will be the bulk the main um planning if you like because i do um like my daily stuff which we're going to go on to um no which we've already done sorry i do my daily stuff in my like standard stalogy but i do like a weekly this is i get my to-do list and everything from here to go into here and my video planning and everything goes into here so that is those two so, and i think that works like really really well um, the next one I'm going to show you is this Pink Weeks, which um, this went up um, on Monday, the setup for this one, and I love it. I absolutely love this. It's, it's just gorgeous. So I am planning on doing Slimming World when, um, when I... In the new year, I'm planning on going to Slimming World. I'm planning on going to some exercise classes and stuff. But whichever kind of like diet or whether I'm calorie counting or whatever kind of lifestyle um, I choose for health and fitness, because uh, that's going to be a massive... I am homing down on that one goal for next year. It's affecting everything. It affects my mental health. It affects my family because I won't go in family pictures. Uh, I don't want to go on holiday because I don't want to wear like a swimming costume. I don't want to go swimming because I don't want to wear a swimming costume. I don't like family outings because I sweat. I've got, I need to go to the doctors because like I sweat when it's freezing. I'm just like a hot person i don't know if it's because i'm overweight or if i've got like a problem or anything but like so symptoms of that kind of stuff it all comes down to weight my back problems everything so i need to lose weight guys i need to do it and this gorgeous gorgeous thing is going to help me in 2023 to achieve that goal and then this um also you know if I go to Slim World and stuff, it's all girls, isn't it? So I can just get out my, my gorgeous, gorgeous pink planner. And, you know, if anyone's given any recipes, I can put my favourite sins in here. I can put, like, sin values of stuff. Uh, meal planning. Um, meal ideas. If someone at group says something that I want to try, I can write it down. Shopping lists. Uh, I, I'm thinking of, drum, of um, using the monthly uh one half in it and using it as like a meal planner as well as like exercise classes routines and things like that in the monthly so i'm really excited to get into this uh, to start in january um the only reason i'm not starting now is because i know i won't stick to it i want to just 
enjoy Christmas with the family, you know, get stuck in, um, and yeah, then just go into the new year with this is what I'm going to do, this is what I plan to do, and this is going to help me do that. So the next thing I am going, which one should I do first? So I'll do the Hobie Nietzsche Cousin. I'll do the Hobie Nietzsche Cousin first. So, I started the year with a Hobonich cousin, and then I bought another Hobonich cousin because. Um, so, this Hobonich cousin is a memory planner, and I love it. I do love it, guys. I absolutely love it as a memory planner. Um, this I used as. Um, did I use it as a. Yeah, I used it as a. Um, like an index page to my dailies so if i want like i went to colchester zoo if i want to see the kids easter baskets i go to the 11th of april and there's their kids easter baskets so it's a good guide for reference as well because if i go oh, what did i get them last year i've got it in here um and the monthlies i used as a monthly highlight and i love that and then my weeklies, um, because I was in between like cute planning and functional planning, I felt like I had to get another planner. Um, I did film these setups, but I also wanted to, you know, plan on my own, and that's why I bought a different planner. So we've got some neutral setups, some sterling ink, and then we've got some fun ones as well. Like, you can't really use a whole standard strategy kit in one of these. You can use, like, some of the boxes and stuff, but a whole kit would be wasted. Um, and I think that's what was kind of, like, putting me off as well. I was cutting down kits, but so many shops now do cousin kits. It's unreal. So, yeah, I did absolutely love this planner. The only thing I found hard was the daily pages. I mean, I did this gorgeous monthly overview, and I started off doing like time dailies in here so what I was doing what I was doing in my stalogy I was doing in here as well and I think that's like what kind of stopped me using it as well because it, I was just repeating tasks and I didn't want to just repeat look at my little Loki bear I didn't want to repeat stuff over and over then I kind of changed into just like journaling sticker journaling um notes that I got uh, blank pages I was filling in with things and then it turned into more of like a journal but an A5 page is a lot it's a lot to fill and I don't like blank space like sometimes it was amazing I managed to fill it but it was a chore it was a chore at the end of the day to come in see looking back on it I don't mind the empty space like as long as it's got some like stickers and stuff in here um, yeah, I love, I, I, I do love it, and I've, I've got the cousin, and I'm still using the other cousin, I've stopped using this one for some reason, um, like Chris le leaves me notes, and I tip them in, and yeah, I managed to go up to uh, uh, July, and then I stopped, although I did put in the stickers of Nico, um, there and I'm just a bit angry at myself really for stopping in there because I bet you any money I picked up uh I picked it up did I do July in here no no it's all blank so this is the another one that I bought I bought the one the spring edition so this one does go right through until um is that where are we yeah April May September, October, where are we? November, and then we have December, and then we have got uh, January, February, March in here. So I have got this if I want to keep using it. So I didn't buy a 2023 cousin because I've got this and I wanted to give the sterling ink one which I'll let you I'll show you in a minute I wanted to give that a good go to see if it would work um so yeah I did monthlies again in here I turned it into more of a functional one but I don't need it to be functional because I've got my weeks for that uh, and I was doing the same in here 
but uh, these are the ones that I wanted to plan myself and then I was like but I want to film them and it was just I didn't last long in here at all um it's the it's the most unused one I have picked it up again now um because a lot of you were missing my Hobonichi cousin uh videos so I picked it up again and I'm still using it as like a forward functional plan but this I like because I can just have it in front of me and like I fill it in at the end of the day but on a spread where um on a pre-made spread like this I can just see you know when things are happening and I do like that because it's just a bigger version of the weeks isn't it and then yeah it's those it's the bloody daily pages guys I'm telling you so again I think this is when yeah this is when you know earlier I said I came out of the um I came out of the B6 algae because I wanted to see if it would work in these daily pages and it does it absolutely does but um, I love the salgy, so I wanted to plan in the salgy. I didn't want to do this uh, in the Hobonichi Cousin. I didn't want to use it like that. So yeah, that is the Hobonichi Cousin, and I will keep doing <coughs> a plan with me's in this until um, the end of, uh, well, up until March or whenever. And then <coughs> finally, my very last one is the Sterling Ink B6 Commonplace Planner. This cover is from uh, Paperbound Creations, absolutely lovely. Again, I've got a set up video of this on my channel if you want to see that. Um, so, Sterling Inc. bought out an A6 Commonplace Planner book and it was, it is, um, everything that people didn't like about the cousin is this, basically, because it's a smaller size, it's B6, so a lot of people struggle with the daily pages in the A5, so they have give us, uh, she's done it as a B6 size. These two pages are blank, and then we've got some little goals and quarterly goals um, that you can put in here, and then it goes on to monthly calendars, and we have all 12 months of the monthly calendars up the front, and then it's exactly the same as the Hobonichi Weeks, but smaller. And this is my problem because I was al already cutting down um, standard size kits to fit into my cousin. And then shops did start doing Hobonichi Cousin kits. And Hobonichi Cousin kits, um, not everywhere does them, but more shops are starting to do them now. Um, Sterling Ink kits. So Planner Spot kits fit in here. Um, Alvi Planning Co. kits her, um, like her universal kits she's got a few of them uh it's called universal kit they fit in the boxes of these but anything else um you're gonna have to either print it yourself and shrink it down i haven't worked out the exact percentage um or just use it um with some washi and some stickers rather than kits because i do use kits in my in my um Standard, I use standard vertical kits in here and I do use kits in here, so I use cousin kits in here, I use um, all kits in here basically um, and I'm used to, the stick surgery in these is like minute from standard but it's quite a fair difference to, um, it is quite a difference, it's like two and a half boxes different to a standard so um yeah i do want to give this a go um because it is the smaller size and the um and the daily pages are so much easier to work with because they're small although like i started doing some journaling in here and uh, i am liking it but I don't want to be so, like, I wanted it to be all, like, pretty and amazing, but I don't want to be so rigid. I don't want to be so rigid with it, and I want to use it as, like, a commonplace book as well. So, like, things that I would put in here, I want to start putting in, like, go from the back as and use it as notes and go from the back. So, like, planning routines and goals, it would not be nice to have them all in the memory planner. So this, sorry, I didn't mention, this is going to be, like, what my cousin is, and it's my memory planner. So this is going to have, like, the highlight of the day. The weeks is going to be my weekly, weekly, what I did 
how many times can I say weekly? Weekly, weekly, what I did weekly. Um, are going to be on the weeks and then yeah this can be journaling it can be notes it can be anything that i want it to be because i'm not going to fill 368 pages full of journaling it's just not going to happen i mean i journaled some on sunday and it's just like literally a quarter of a page really and um yeah i had to force myself to write that much but um i'm looking forward to trying this i'm looking See how far it goes um, obviously if it starts falling apart or whatever I have got my Hope and Each Cousin as a backup and I might want to use the Cousin anyway I need to go over these and stick them down because they all keep coming undone doesn't matter how many times I push them they're coming undone I'll do that, I'll put some tape over it or something yeah so this is the sterling ink commonplace uh planner i've just got this um jelly pouch that my husband made me in with some mondays through sundays and some like daily stickers and some date dots and things like that so if i do want to journal on the go i can it has got the um gilded edges i don't think she's doing gilded edges again um i'm not bothered by them i don't find that i'm getting like glitter everywhere um i know as i use the planner more and more they'll fade i'm not a fan of them don't get me wrong um i'd rather have none but they don't bother me i mean it's it is what it is isn't it she's not going to do it again it was a nightmare for her as well i don't know why she did it in the first place to be honest because it is a nightmare they had to quality check loads and they lost out on loads because i mean mine i don't know how mine passed the quality check to be honest because it's got a big scratch there um but it doesn't bother me it's like it's a scratch um yeah so i think that is all of the planners that i want to be using and i don't think there's any um over, the only overlap i see happening is between these two um but because i'm using this as more of a functional forward one um i'm not really writing the same the only i'm writing the same probably in here as i am in here but I need this, because, especially with the other notebook, because that's going to be the bulk of all my ideas and everything's going to go in there. This is just like a creative outlet, really, where I just get to scribble things down, and I do. I treat my salary like I literally... If I had to make everything neat, there's no way I'd keep up with it. I just wouldn't be able to. Um, so I do need a place where I can just you know scribble down what I've done for the day. And then it's good to go for memory planning. So... If I keep up with my strategy every day and my weeks, I'm good to go. And then this is completely different. So this is going to have things like uh, sin values. Um, oh, I've, I wrote it down somewhere. Sin. Let's have a look in here. No, it wasn't in there, was it? It was in here. I made a spread. I made a spread for this video. But I thought it would be nice to have... Um, like as a as a memory thing as well to know what i was going to use things for so my standard strategy is monthly resets go in there highlights goals youtube scheduling reoccurring tasks purchases and routines and then my basic selling ink is a memory one and monthly highlights memory plans daily journals goal breakdowns and then my functional weeks important days appointments forward planning reoccurring tasks annual trackers notes my pink hobo weeks is slimming world daily food log weekly weigh-in measurements meal plan meal ideas sin values hoping each cushion forward planning trackers mental health and memory plan with me kimbo undated weekly as well as the selling ink and i have been trying to figure out ways that i can encompass uh, my cousin as like a mental health one as well so i can carry on using it so that's it guys that is literally my 2020 so really realistically that's a memory planner so that's just memories this is its own thing its own entity for food tracking and all that um this also and this are functional planners functional forward planning i don't need to do it in this i know you like the videos i like planning in it i love this cover um yeah so I don't mind the repetitiveness of doing a double monthly spread i mean you know you i do it for youtube as well i do it for you guys uh but but yeah so they're functional and then this is just a daily so i don't think although there's like quite a lot of planners here five 
and then you add on this six and the other one seven but really on a daily basis I'm only filling in these two like that's all I'm filling in on a daily basis oh and I might do some journaling and stuff but yeah you know it's a really easy system that I've just found is just going to be perfect I mean this could go and this could go and I could still make it work in there um but yeah, it's about doing you, isn't it? And, and what plan is you like? So I like to have this as a backup in case this fails. I don't want it to fail. I do want to get a whole year in here and, you know, just be fun with it. And I want my goals to work there. So I'm just happy. I'm happy with um, the planners that I've got for 2023. I'm excited that I'm already using this. I'm already re using some of them. Um, yeah, so that is it guys, that is my 2023 planner lineup, and I don't think anything's going to change, really, um, I just think that I'm going to add a notebook in to the mix um, at the end, like when I can get hold of one, um, but yeah, so that's it guys, that is my 2023 planner lineup. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what planners you're going to be using. Also, if you can do me a favour, let me know. Let me now. Let me know down below any kind of videos you want me to do in the new year. I want to do some more kind of like inf informative videos, like you know my like goals videos and like the mini planner series I've done at the end of this year to help you pick a new planner. Any kind of things like that that you'd find really interesting. If you let me know um, in the comments below, then that'd be great. But yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next one bye